Welcome to our series on the InnoSource contributor role. In this section, we will look deeper into the motivations and benefits of doing InnoSource within your company. Right, so the contributors are the lifeblood of InnoSource projects. What are motivations for individuals to become active as contributors? Well, it's much like in open source. Instead of working around issues, you want to fix them at the source and the classical scratch your own itch reasoning. Instead of working in isolation, you can actually collaborate with subject matter experts that you can learn from and that might be willing to uh, act as mentors. In addition to that, it allows you to look beyond your own team, um, seeing how other teams solve technical issues, how they solve build system issues, how they solve testing issues, allows you to bring that knowledge back into your own team and improve your own ways of working. In addition, working in an environment in a different team also increases your communication skills and makes it easier for you to communicate with other people in your company. In addition to that, of course, it's also fulfilling and it's also fun if you are able to fix issues that so far you've only been able to work around right at the source of the problem. So now that we know what individuals are motivated by in, for when they join inner source projects. What are reasons that teams could have to make space for other team members to participate in these uh, inner source uh, host teams? Well, maybe you're actually using a piece of software from a host team and maybe you've actually added a fix to that piece of software. Why should you actually spend the time to make sure these fixes make it back into the host team's projects. Well, if you donate them back, um, with every new release that the host team makes, this fix will already be integrated. And essentially, the host team takes over not only ownership of the fix, but actually also maintenance. In addition, working across team boundaries means that you're building bridges between your team and the teams that provides those components to you. Having someone active in this upstream project means that you do have a voice in that project. So in the future, if you need another feature or if you need a a box, some bugs fixed, um, it will be much easier to have that communication started and to have these issues solved. And last but not least, InnerSource can actually provide you a middle path between the be independent and possibly have to re-implement everything your own and uh, use someone else's output and possibly be dependent on their output. So this allows you to balance uh, re-implementation and reuse in a nice way. And yeah, let's, let us have a look at the, the corporate motivation and why your organization at large can benefit from inner source. All of your teams will very likely operate in the same business domain or same set of business domains and likely there is some level of base functionality that all of these teams need. And InnerSource's focus on mentorships helps you avoid the situation where a central and vital piece of software is only maintained by one single uh, person, which will put you at risk of sitting on abandoned vital software at some point. In addition, working across boundaries means that teams can learn from each other so that best practices developed in one team have an easier time flowing to a different team and being put to good use there. In addition, the inherent transparency that you have on InnoSource projects means that you have higher quality and better security in the components that are being developed. With more people reviewing what goes into a component, issues are much more likely to be spotted early on. Yeah, uh, InnerSource also encourages cross-team collaboration and this can help you with knowledge sharing in your company and widespread learning actually. And yeah, and taking a step further actually, InnerSource provides you with a first step towards integrating your project's users and your customers into the development. This is a pattern that is common in many or most open source projects actually. The goal of turning users of a software system into collaborators and contributors in the end. So in this segment you've seen arguments for participating in an inner source project um, from a personal level to a team level as well as to a corporate level. We hope that these arguments help you figure out 
um, how to best participate in, in a project, but also help you convince your colleagues to give you time to participate in a different team's um, component development processes.